They just released the Anniversary Wonder Boy collection. Six Wonder Boy games and 21 versions. And I'm trying to beat Konami in subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed. Let's see if we can beat Konami together. That's what they get for that pachinko nonsense. The Anniversary Wonder Boy collection, you choose your language, and then right from there, there's a big old list of games. Well, you got a few of them anyway. You got Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy in Monster Land, Wonder Boy 3, Monster Lair, Monster World 2, Monster World 3, Monster World 4. There's a gallery that we'll go over in just a little bit. And you got the credits as well. Very cool. And when you click into the games, well, that's when you get Wonder Boy. This is the arcade version. But they also have it for the SG-1000, the Sega Mark III. That's your Japanese Master System. Your Sega Master System. Uh, it for the Game Gear in Japan. And then the U.S. version of the Game Gear. So, yeah, there's multiple versions on each one. Sometimes it's just the English version versus the Japanese one. But there are sometimes some differences between the two. And we'll go over gameplay in a little bit, but we also have like Wonder Boy in Monster Land. This is, uh, came out in the arcade, and it also came out on the Master System, so you have the Japanese and English versions of that. Wonder Boy 3, both in the arcade and on the Sega Genesis. Going to see the comparison there. This is Monster World 2, Game Gear. There's also a Master System version, so kind of cool to see that. Monster World 3, very popular on the Sega Genesis. You also got the Mega Drive, which is the import. There's also a Master System version, if you weren't familiar. And then with Monster World 4, you got the Mega Drive version, the import, as well as the Genesis version. Very cool. It's cool because we have that the arcade version. You also have an insert coin button. Uh, not that you'll need it, and I'll show you why here in just a moment, but you just uh, hit your L3, I suppose. And you're well on your way. Now, this is the arcade version of Wonder Boy here. Love the pixels, love the sounds. It's all, I mean, very, very well put together here. And with every game in this collection, you also have a rewind feature, so you can rewind it whenever you need to. There's also a fast forward feature, but you know, <laughs> I'm not sure when you'll need that. Maybe to zoom through text, that happens sometimes later games. Along with save and load feature, every game also features maps. And I love the fact that they included maps in these games. It literally shows you just the map of each stage you want to see, including where the secrets are, what's in the eggs, so you don't like you know grab the wrong one. You can access this at any time in during gameplay, so it makes it really, really handy for you. Just another added feature. I like seeing the versions that I didn't quite get a chance to play, like Wonder Boy for the SG-1000. Now, yes, it looks simplistic in nature. It looks a little bit like a ColecoVision game. But it's one I never had a chance to check out, and I can check it out now thanks to thanks to this. Always nice too if you just want to compare like the Master System version, or maybe you grew up with the Master System version. A little blast in the past for you. And I never had a chance to play the Game Gear version until now. I can play it on the big screen here. So just again, I love comparing games. You know, I, I know what I'm familiar with, and then how does it compare on another system, on another platform? Maybe how's maybe you only played this one, but you never played the arcade version. Makes it gives you a chance to do that. And again, you can save anywhere. All the maps uh, makes it really cool. And that's just one game. You've got a whole lot more games to go through, including Wonder Boy and Monster Land. Wonder Boy and Monster Land started out as an arcade game. Can you believe it? Like playing a game that looks like this in the arcade? <laughs> well, it, it managed to do just fine. And again, you got the maps to choose. You know, you can see where, see where to go and everything if needed. But when in doubt, you can also just play like the home console version. Nothing wrong with that. Check it out on the home console version. Why not? Compare the two, I suppose, if you want. And Wonder Boy 3 in Monster Land, according to this one. Now, this is the port here. And then if you want to check out the arcade version, well, you definitely have the arcade version right here, which is very similar. Actually, it looks, looks pretty close to the same. Uh, this is one I've never actually had a chance to play. Not that I didn't have a chance to play it. I just never got around to playing it. So it gives me a chance to play it now through this collection. So here's Wonder Boy 3. I know it's, it's, sometimes the names get kind of confusing when you go from one to the other here. And it's set up that way when you have the password, the continue and all that. But again, you can save it anywhere. You can load it from anywhere. You can rewind it as much as you need. This one's a fun one. This one's a really fun one. So I'm glad they included this one on here. You know, if you ever wanted to see what it looked like on the Game Gear as well. I never had the Game Gear version, so... Check it out on that one, just because you can. Why not? You may as well take advantage of all the games on here. And again, sometimes you're just like, well, what's you know, what's up there? I don't know what's up there. Well, you can always access the map and see what's up there. And in this case, uh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing's up there. Okay, well, good to know. I won't have to worry about it. Wonder Boy and Monster World. And we've seen ports of this, you know, since then as well. But it's nice to just have, like, the OG, the original. This is the one I remember playing. Uh, as you know, as far as this game goes and everything. But if you never played it on the Master System, it gives you a chance to play it on the Master System, finally. You know, maybe it won't be exactly the same, but it still, you know, has enough of the nuance to make it the same game. And in Monster World 4, I was so happy to see this on here, Ben. It's just nice to see this was a great Genesis game that never came out in America, never came out in the United States. So it gives you a chance to play this awesome, awesome game. Now, you know, available. <laughs> on this on this collection here. And it is a super fun game. I'm, I'm glad they included this. I love the fact that they included an art gallery as well. I don't know how many people access the art gallery. I think a lot of people just grab, grab these compilation collections because they just want to play the games that are on here. 
But anytime there's a soundtrack available or an art gallery available, you can see like works in progress or just the unframed, unlogoed, you know, works of art or, you know, just the, the, the art they, they use in the game. I love that. And I think it's really cool that they included this. I mean, you may as well. You already, you already have the art files laying around. May as well include it in this game. So very, very cool. I love the fact that they included uh, some, some pictures from the, the games and some other games too. I just want to see what they look like. <laughs> just an option for you. The Anniversary Wonder Boy Collection, it's available immediately. Thank you for subscribing. You want to check out this video in the meantime as well. I'm going to play a little bit more of this SG-1000 version just because, ha, why not? This game is available right now. You can grab it right now. I'm playing this on the Switch, but it's also available on other uh, platforms as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.